The Lockheed Model 34 Big Dipper was a two-seat American monoplane developed in 1945 by the Lockheed Aircraft Corporation as part of an ambitious effort to enter the post-war civilian and light military aircraft market. Designed by John Thorpe, who had previously worked on the smaller Lockheed Model 33 Little Dipper, the Big Dipper was conceived as a flying jeep for the United States Army and a light personal airplane for the civilian market. Lockheed aimed to sell it for about $1,500, making it affordable to returning servicemen. The aircraft was built at Lockheed's Vega subsidiary in Burbank, California, and carried the internal designation V-306. It was a low-wing, all-metal cantilever monoplane with fixed tricycle landing gear and side-by-side -side seating for two. Its most distinctive feature was the rear-mounted Continental C-100 engine positioned behind the cockpit and driving a two-blade pusher propeller through a long shaft. The cooling air intake was placed above the fuselage. Thorpe also introduced a fully movable horizontal stabilizer, later patented, making the Big Dipper one of the early aircraft to use this design. Construction began in July 1945, and the completed prototype was transported secretly by road to Palmdale for flight testing at Muroc Dry Lake, now Edwards Air Force Base. The aircraft made its first flight on December 10, 1945, with test pilot Prentice Cleaves at the controls. Early flights revealed good handling and stability, though a tendency toward wing root stall at low speeds and high angles of attack was observed. After roughly 40 hours of testing, the aircraft was returned to Burbank for planned wing root modifications. On February 6, 1946, during a test flight from a short, steep runway chosen to maintain secrecy, the prototype stalled on takeoff and crashed. Cleves and project engineer Frank Johnson survived, but the only Big Dipper was destroyed. With the civilian light plane market collapsing due to a post-war surplus of military aircraft, Lockheed canceled the program. Several paper designs followed, including the V-309 military version, the V-311 tractor prop variant, and a three-seat liaison V-313. A larger four-seat derivative, the V-314 Super Dipper, remained a concept. None were built. Today, the Big Dipper survives only in photographs, patents, and Lockheed archives. Despite its short life, it remains a fascinating example of Lockheed's post-war experimentation and Thorpe's inventive engineering, an early attempt to combine compact design innovative propulsion, and everyday practicality in a true flying car.